Cleopatra was born closer to the first moon landing than to the building of the Great Pyramid of Giza. That means the legendary Queen of Egypt, who ruled in the 1st century BC, is separated from Neil Armstrong's historic 1969 moonwalk by about 2,000 years, but the towering Pyramid of Giza was already ancient when she was alive. The Great Pyramid was built around 2560 BC, over 2,400 years before Cleopatra's reign began. By the time she gazed across the sands of Egypt, those massive stones had been weathered by more than two millennia of wind and desert sun. To Cleopatra, the pyramids were like medieval castles are to us, relics of a distant, almost mythical past. Flash forward to the 20th century, and just 2,000 years after Cleopatra's dramatic life and death, humanity launched itself beyond Earth's atmosphere. The moon landing marked a leap so astonishing that it would have seemed like pure sorcery to the ancient Egyptians, yet it's chronologically closer to Cleopatra herself than the construction of the pyramids she once ruled over. This wild timeline twist connects two of history's greatest wonders, the ancient world's greatest monument and the space age's greatest achievement, showing just how unexpectedly short the bridge is from pharaohs to astronauts, 